This is lesson 17. We'll be converting fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to write these following decimals as a fraction. So first, if you read it, you say 5 tenths. So it's pretty easy. It's just 5 tenths. And remember my trick, you put a 1 under the decimal place and a 0 under how many ever numbers are under there, draw a line, you now have 5 tenths, right? So 0 decimal 5 is equal to 5 tenths. Here, remember the trick, 1 and then I've got two place values, right? So it's 4 hundredths. And that's how you would read it. You'd read it by saying 4 hundredths. Next one, we have 3 and 5 tenths. So we have three holes, okay, because it's to the left of the decimal place. That's the hole, right? And then to the right is the part, okay, or the fraction, right? 3 and 5 tenths. So 3 and 5 tenths. Three holes and 5 tenths. 2 and 35 hundredths. So I have two holes and I have 35 hundredths. Now there's another way you can write these. You can write 35 tenths because when you go to divide it, divided by 10, you would get 3 tenths, right? And you'd get a 5, remainder 5, right? So 3 and 5 tenths, or 35 tenths. It works both ways. So that means you could also do 235 hundredths. And another way to look at it would be if you were to decompose this into fractions that you can add, right? Because 100 plus 100 plus 35 is 235. 100 hundredths is equal to 1, right? Because numerator plus numerator. Numerator and denominator are the same. You have a whole. This is equal to 1 as well. So you have 2 and 35 hundredths. So it's equivalent. Okay, and I think the last one that we needed to write out was 4,500. So that's 45 over 100. Now we're going to write these as decimal. We read this as 4 tenths. Okay, I can keep it the way it is. So I have 0 decimal 4. So you need to put the 4 in the tenths place. Next, 13 tenths. So here it's a little bit tricky, right? Because remember we had back here... We had 35 tenths. Now we have 13 tenths. So I actually have more than a whole, right? Because my numerator is bigger than my denominator. Okay, so how many tens go into 13? Well, one. Subtract, bring down. Okay, I have nothing to bring down, so I have a remainder of three, right? So one is my whole number. And then how many tenths do I have remaining? I have three tenths remaining. So one and three tenths, or one and three tenths. Okay, here I can write it the way it is, 13 hundredths. I have zero holes because my numerator is less than my denominator, and 13 hundredths. Four hundredths can write it the way it is. I have zero, and I have nothing in my tenths place, so I need to put a zero there, and four hundredths. And again, remember the trick? Four hundredths, right? So we know it's correct. Forty-six hundredths. Again, I can write it just the way it is. And the six is in the hundredths place. Remember the trick? So forty-six hundredths. Three-fifths. Now, I can't write three-fifths the way it is as a decimal because I don't have a 10 or a 100 in the denominator, right? That's why it's called tenths or hundredths. You have to have a 10 or a 100 in the denominator. So you cannot write 3 fifths as a decimal. So you have to set up an equivalent fraction, okay? So 5 times 2 is 10. 3 times 2 is 6. Now I can write it as a decimal because it reads as a tenth right? Six tenths. That's equal to six tenths. Again, 
4 25ths. I cannot write this as a decimal because there is not a 10 or a 100 in the denominator. Okay, you have to have a 10 or a 100 in order to write it as a decimal automatically. So I need to set up an equivalent fraction so I can do that. I know in my head I can go from 25 to 100 very easily. I just have to think quarters, right? 25 times 4 is 100. There are 4 quarters in a dollar or 100 cents, right? So I'm going to do 4 times 4 to get 16. Now I can write this as a decimal because there's a 100 in the denominator or 16 hundredths. Okay, again, 4 20ths. This is not the number 10, and this is not the number 100. So I cannot write it the way it is as a decimal. So I have to set up an equivalent fraction. So I am going to do hundredths. I need to think. 20 times what is 100? Well, if I count by 20s, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. There are five 20s in 100. So I'm going to also multiply the top by 5. So I have 20 hundredths, 0 decimal to 0, which is also equivalent to 2 tenths, right? You just get rid of that 0 on the right. 8 sixteenths. I cannot write this the way it is as a decimal. 10 or 100 is not in the denominator's position. But I also know that I can't get to 10 or 100 very easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first put this in simplest form. Remember to put, go in simplest form, you write the factors of each number, 2, 4, 8, factors of 16, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Circle the greatest common factor, and you're going to divide by that greatest common factor. So 8 divided by 8 is 1, 16 divided by 8 is 2. Now I know that I can get 1 half into a 10 or a 100 really easily. Okay, so 2 times 5 is 10, so 1 times 5 is 5. I can write 5 tenths as a decimal. Okay, for homework tonight, I would like you to write the following decimals as fractions, and I'd like you to write the following fractions as decimals. Thank you for your hard work, and I will see you tomorrow.